Today I wanted to do a little talk about love. So love has so many different flavors. We have the love between a mother or a father and a child. We have love between lovers, maybe uh, in a partnership, maybe a husband and wife. And we have love between friends and uh, we have love uh, for our sense of self, our body, our emotions, our mind. And the, in Greece, ancient Greece, they were good at labeling those different types of love. You know, they, were, they said this is this one uh, expression, if you like, this one feeling, a sense. And it manifests in all these different directions, you know. Uh, I don't really subscribe to all those being different types of love. I think they're uh, manifestations of the same love in different ways. So in uh, transcendentalism, the, the, the main focus of love is the, uh, sometimes it's called agape. It means the, the selfless love or love for the divine. And this is a very strange and unique phenomenon because what does that mean? <laughs> Sometimes it's called without conditioning. And so without conditioning, we could say, or well, the conditioning is our personality, the society that we've been born in, the, the religion that's been programmed into us. So, of course, that is all a condition, a conditioning. So, to let go of condition, you know, unconditional, it points to something. I think this is also a mistake that people make, the belief that unconditional means I'll just love everyone all the time for, you know, even someone who is being... Uh, abusive to me and I think that's where the, uh, the mistake or the misunderstanding happens I think unconditional it points to something deeper it means there's a love that exists that is free from the condition that's put onto us So then what I notice in myself is that love has a wisdom to it. You know, when we think of unconditional love, it's just, we, we might have these ideas of always happy, you know, um, hugging people and trying to forgive people, becoming doormats to people who are maybe abusive or rude or hostile towards us. But I would say that that's conditioned love. That's a misunderstanding of what love is. So from a transcendental perspective of unconditional, or we could call that unconditioned love, is pointing to something that predates our conditioning, is before our thinking even before emotion, a kind of sense of self, an interior experience. And so the invitation is to be able to recognize that, to recognize that. And this is why sometimes we need practices like meditation or Tai Chi or prayer, something that helps us either see or become free from
from our conditionality. You know, the, the neurosis, emotional tension that can allow our awareness to point uh, much more deeply into our being than those things. So when we find that one love, the core of our being, the deepest self, you know, sometimes it's described as the light. And it's a beautiful description, light, because light is without condition as to what it shines on. You know, light just shines. It, it touches everything with its presence around it. So sometimes it's described, I think it's the Dalai Lama that says, sometimes the best response is stillness and silence. Stillness and silence, it's, a, it's an invitation. If something is triggering us, if something is causing us emotional tension, fear, pain, and the manifestations of that as uh, hatred. Then the invitation is often, as Lao Tzu says, be still until clarity comes back and there's a clear knowing of what to say and how to respond to a situation. And there's a great pointer in the biblical tradition to this. You know, it says, love is patient, love is kind, it doesn't bear grudges, and it's not so caught up in, you know, speaking in tongues or healing abilities or anything like that. It's a, a kind of a sense of kindness and peace, the desire for connection, the desire to let go of holding on to painful memories that uphold fear, hatred. And it's an ability to respond from the most magnificent healing wise and connected parts of our being. If you want to change your life in some miraculous way, come back to love. Sense that part of you that precedes your conditioning, your karmic patterns of action and reaction, thoughts and emotion. Go deeper. That's where we connect with Tao, with life, with divinity, 
with transcendence, with thinking inspired by the soul. This is a doorway to freedom.